Okay, um, I just want to introduce myself. My name's Dean Hatfield. I'm the service manager for Prospect Services, who are putting on the Future Steps event today. Um, I'm sure if you've clicked this link, it's about you wanting to find out more about traineeships, apprenticeships within the motor vehicle industry. So today we've got two people with us today from North London Garages. Um, I want to introduce Mark Davison and uh, Hazel Brewer. I just want to start by, you know, firstly, kind of both. Just can you tell us a bit about North London Garages, who they are, what they do? Yeah, so uh, North London Garages, we've been around for uh, 50 years. Um, we are a motor vehicle uh, apprenticeship provider. Uh, we provide apprenticeships um, and we also provide uh, traineeships. So an apprenticeship would um, allow a, uh, a school leaver um, to start an employment. Uh, they would then attend the centre for one day a week and be uh, at a work placement for five days. Um, this obviously suits many people that feel that the pure academic study route in the classroom is not ideal for them. Uh, so this is more hands-on. I've personally done an apprenticeship myself um, for uh, many years. Um, so we just look at the motor vehicle industry. Um, we also deliver quite a lot of um, advanced electric vehicle hybrid training um, to many of the garages that so are quite well known within uh, London. Um, we also offer traineeships. So if you are studying at uh, school and you would like that stepping stone, so you feel an apprenticeship isn't quite right just yet. Uh, so what you can do is apply for a traineeship. Um, the traineeship will then support you to get the skills uh, that you need for um, writing CVs, uh, some softer skills. Um, we'll be supporting you to go out into the workplace, look at your English and maths. Um, and we don't just offer that in the motor vehicle industry, we will offer that in different industries as well. If you wanted to try plumbing or business admin, uh, hairdressing, so we can look at offering them for you as well. Thank you, Mark. Oh, and just a question on that. What, what is the difference between, I suppose, an apprenticeship and a, a traineeship? Because people watching today would want to know what, what, the, what the difference is between the two. Okay, so an apprenticeship gives you a formal qualification um, within motor vehicle, for example. So you may undertake a level two or a level three qualification. You would all, uh, motor vehicle apprentices would start at level two to gain that experience. Um, you would get a, a full apprenticeship. So you would do a qualification sort of um, within uh, the garage and within the workplace and the centre. Uh, they've now changed it to new standards. So there's a, it's quite, it's quite different um, the way that the apprenticeship standards are run, but ultimately a traineeship doesn't have, uh, it's not a two year program. It's quite short. So it's like a 12 week uh, short program. Um, it's like that stepping stone into the apprenticeship. So the apprenticeship is a full-blown qualification and, and a, quite a big career step, whereas a traineeship is to gain some experience to get onto the apprenticeship. So it's kind of, kind of testing your ideas out, maybe, if that's what you want to do, yeah? Yes, that's right. They call them a pre-apprenticeship because yeah. it's the pre-step. So where you're thinking, I think the motor industry might be right for me, but is it, isn't it? And I know a lot of young people you're trying to make a decision what, what your future will look like. And that's huge when you're leaving school. Mm. So a pre-apprenticeship is a really nice route for you to try it and make sure that it's right for you, that you enjoy it, that working in the garage is right for you because it, you know, it's cold and dirty and that might be perfect for some people, but not for others. And then if that isn't right, that's okay. You can do the pre-apprenticeship. You've got work experience on your CV then. You've still worked towards your English and maths um, and you can then pursue a different path if that's right for you. Or if it's a great pre-apprenticeship and things go well and you absolutely love it and you could be doing work experience in a fantastic garage and they take you on and you continue your journey straight into apprenticeships. Brilliant. That's, that's, that's great. I mean, a lot of people tuning in today will be from kind of the, the, the Brent and Harrow area in the West London area. Do you have many kind of apprenticeships available within, within that area and, and opportunities in garages in, in, in that locality? We do, yes, yeah, we work in that area. So we've got um, three garages at the moment that are looking in the kind of uh, Harrow and Brent area right now. Um, but obviously that changes. I can't always guarantee that's the case when a learner applies. But if we don't have an opportunity right now, the first thing that we'll do is work with that young person on what garages are local to them or what work 
uh, is local to them and then we'll support and, and approach those garages and, and look to create an opportunity if we don't have one but we we do work in that area that is an area we work in right now brilliant thank you what i mean what kind of qualities would you expect so some a young person comes along want, want to go to an apprenticeship or a traineeship what are the employers looking for or what are you looking for in that in that candidate that approaches approaches yourself okay so um for an apprenticeship um, applicant, we, you know, we're looking for someone that uh, engages into the course that they want to do. Um, you know, so they've got good engagement. They're really sort of clear in what they want. Um, they, uh, they've got passion for motor vehicle. Um, they've got a passion for training as well. Um, you know, we're employers would sort of move away from uh, apprentices or applicants that you know, are not quite sure if they want if they if if this is the right trade that they don't want to get their hands dirty you know so um if someone's really keen they communicate well uh they're confident in that communication as well because um if they, if they turn up for a job interview or if they turn up on a work placement and they can't talk to customers very well and, and they shy away a little bit you know they it's 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 uh it could be a uh, a hindrance so yeah confidence communication engagement and passion and i presume that that's where maybe the traineeship can help develop some of those skills initially as well and get is that is that is that fair to say yeah so that so that was like that's the that's the full apprenticeship so if you feel that you that an applicant is not quite uh, at that point and obviously when we go to the application stage um we would then be looking at that candidate are they right for apprenticeship yet and, you know and we would then look to put them onto a traineeship if that's not the case and support them in drawing out them skills um at, at a younger age so if a young person because I, I think bearing in mind you might have young people that are coming out at 16 mm -hmm. have no garage experience they're still okay to apply it's, yeah. a, it's more about the the qualities they bring is that is is that what you're saying yes that's right okay. brilliant do, do they need any gtses for the for the apprenticeship or so there's a there's no there's no straightforward answer for this for a young person has a slightly different journey with their qualifications but in short if you want to go straight on to an apprenticeship as part of the apprenticeship requirement you will need to do functional skills so an apprenticeship has the kind of core garage learning uh, some college work but obviously you also need to do functional skills english mm -hmm. maths and ict the good news is if you do well at school um when you start the apprenticeship, if you get a uh, level three or above, then guess what? You can come into an apprenticeship and you might not for the first year have to do that maths, English and ICT. So if you do well at school, that's great. That means that when you do the apprenticeship, um, you might not have to do all of those lessons, which I'm sure some young people will be very grateful for coming out of college. Um, however, it doesn't always work that way. And sometimes you don't get those grades or maybe in one of those subjects you've not done as well as others. That's OK. You can still go forward. Um, we will test your maths and English as part of the application process. And there is a standard that you need to be at. Um, but providing you pass that, if you don't get the grades at school, um, we can still work with you. And what we'll do is we'll put you probably on that pre-apprenticeship route and work on those functional skills, okay. get them to the level we want, we need them at across the time and then progress you on the apprenticeship. Mm -hmm. So in summary, try and do well in those subjects at school if you're taking your GCSEs because it will make your onward journey um, a little easier. But if you don't, it's OK. You can still apply. We'll let you know where you're at when you're assessed and what you need to do next to go forward. Thank you, Hazel. That's, re that's really comprehensive. Um, final thing, really, uh, application process. Obviously, a lot of young people will want to make the applications if they're interested in motor vehicle. What 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 stages do they have to go through um, to, to apply for the apprenticeship or the, or even the traineeship? OK, so uh, we have a, a quite straightforward uh, application process. Uh, it's all done online. Um, um, the first stages are uh, so as you see on the screens we've got our website um, so the applicants are more welcome to have a look at our, our website see what sort of courses we've got available um, you know they can have a look on more details about the apprenticeship uh, and about the traineeship uh, routes uh, the traineeships are found in courses so have a look at the website see if it's uh, the right thing for you, for them uh, or for you um, and you know, if, you, if in doubt, pick up the phone, give us a call, uh, have a chat with someone. Um, you know, we've got some friendly staff there to give some advice um, to go through the application um, with you uh, if, 
if, you, if you're struggling in any areas. Um, but yeah, so when you look at the website, you know, there is a apply now here button, um, or apply now button here. So click on that and that will take you through to a full application page um, with all your details. Once that application then gets entered on the system, our recruitment team will look at the application, they'll make contact with the applicant um, and then start a more uh, a different type of process. So communicating with that learner or the applicant um, and then inviting them in for an IA. So as Hazel was saying earlier, so that's an initial assessment. In the moment, due to COVID, we are doing those virtually online. Uh, so an initial assessment is to look at um, their current working levels of English and maths. Um, uh, sometimes we do ICT as well or essential digital skills. Um, and then once they uh, complete the IAs, um, if the applicant is successful in um, the standard to a, get onto an apprenticeship, um, then they will be booked in for a interview um, to sit with a motor vehicle tutor and have a discussion. Um, if they're not looking to obviously do the apprenticeship uh, and they're doing other areas, the same sort of process still takes place. Um, but you know they might not achieve the English and maths, uh, so that's why the pre-apprenticeship will, will support them to gain the extra skills. Brilliant. Um, and then yeah, and then once once the IA and everything's been done, the recruitment team will uh, work with the applicant, hopefully try and find them a job placement uh, and get them into a garage. Brilliant. Well, thank you both for your time today. It's been really, really helpful just getting this bit of um, knowledge and understanding, particularly of traineeships and apprenticeships as well. Um, yeah, thank you for, 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 for attending today. You're welcome. Thank you. thank you, Dean.